Hey guys, um, today is actually my last day where I'm now fully out um, as um, Friday and then surgery. Tomorrow evening, I'm in lockdown mode. Um, so I'm gonna have this shot brown, see if there's anything I need to keep myself occupied. Then I'm like going to the works first and then go prime up because I need some tops like this and some drop the bottoms. I finally found them in prime up for like four pounds, six pounds. And I was like, oh, I bet get some of them. Because I don't really need named ones, do I? The works was a fail, so I'm going to have a look in Primark for more tops, as obviously I'll be bandaged up. Even though it's only my thumb, it's more something I have to relax and rest. So I'll find some hoodie, I'll find some stuff like this, what have large arm bits. So I'm easy to put a top on on everything. I'm home now. Um, I I went to prime up. I didn't film, but I got a blue vest, black drop your bottoms. Um, for Friday, it I'll either wear grey ones or the black ones. I don't know yet. Whatever I feel comfortable in. Um. I also bought towels, is not, you know, those sort of towels, like face cloth, face towels, and um, a medium sized towel, because obviously I'm not allowed to use my nan or nads or anyone else's towels, and um, as of COVID, and I'm in lockdown totally from four o'clock tomorrow. Evening. I also bought a portable power bank for my phone um, and some hair bands for it is I'm always running out of hair bands. Tomorrow is my COVID test at four and then after that I'm in total lockdown. Um, I've got some bits to keep me distracted. Um, what else can I say? The reason why I'm in total lockdown from tomorrow evening is because I, um, I'll have, I'm having surgery on my thumb. I know it's a bit drastic, I know, but as it's COVID-19, I obviously have to stay in. And I have to stay in my bedroom. So, yeah. I'm not, it's going to be a fun three days. But it's going to be worth it in the end. Um, I thought the paper to tell you all the rules of my life for the next three days. So I've literally got papers on what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. Um, here's my missions in. And it turns out I'm not going to Beckett Ward, so that's a good thing. So I'm not going to be on a ward, I'm going to be in the day surgery area. Um, I've got COVID testing, so I've got to go to work tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. Um, this is self isolation. I'm not allowed out. Um, I've got to stay in my room for 24, 24 hours. Um, obviously, the people, obviously, my grandparents are staying in. And um, here are some rules I will stay in 24 7, I will stay in my room. Um, I'm not allowed to go shopping leisure 
activities. I'm not allowed to exercise or collect medication. Um, I will clean everything after I use it. I will wear a mask when I go upstairs. Um, every I will use a separate towel. So that's why I bought three towels. Um, I've got enough food. Um, oh, this is... I've got to keep myself entertained for three days. Well, two and a half days. Because, um, yeah. So, this one just tells me what's happening. Well, not actually what's happening. Like, key information and everything. I've told you about this, I think. Yeah, I've told you about that. Um, COVID testing. So, obviously, I'm in Watford at four. Um, yeah, um, I'm having it done at Watford, obviously. Um, that's going to be weird. As I know it sounds weird, but I've always wanted to see what it's like. Um, yeah, so this is a letter of my appointment, so it's on Friday the 11th, so that's like four days from, four days? Yeah, no, five, four days from now, um, I will be there at half seven, I've got to... Um, I'm, do not eat for six hours, eat for six hours prior to your admission time. You may have sips of water, up, only up to two hours before your admission time. I'm not allowed to um, or eat sweets. And if any of that happens, my surgery can be cancelled, luckily. I just want to get this surgery over, so I wouldn't do any of that. What I done is um, my thumb is literally jammed in one area. Hold on, let me show you. So it's like that. Like really low, further down now. And um, they've got to make a cut right on the palm area. So like that area there. Or I just put my nose and um, cut that open and move the tendon back to how it should be. So my thumb can know like that. But I found out I will be in quite a few bandages. I'll be in a sling. Um, and that's it really. And it could be up to four weeks. So that means after that. At least I've got something to look forward to because I'm so um I'm really looking forward to seeing my friends mostly and seeing someone sp or yeah, seeing someone that I really like. And yeah, so my friends plan to meet me after because like my anxiety has been so high at the moment. So it's nice to see people after. So I will wait three weeks after I get to see them all. Um, and like I haven't seen them in over a year. I think I haven't seen them since my last birthday. And that was, well, the year before this one. Because obviously last, this year I was in lockdown for my 24th. And yes, I know, I do not look like I'm 24, I've been... So the reason why I have these problems, like, these, like, sort of, they're called subluxions. Like, you know where people have dislocations? I suffer with um, hypermobile, hyper, hypermobility, and, like, that's how my finger messed up. Um, has obviously I had loads of surgery when I was like twelve, I think, and that was just on one finger after I 
smashed all my tendons, ligaments and half my bone in my finger. So it's not this one, it's the other one. Let me swap. So it's this one, as you can see, the scar is still there and I've had it fused twice. So this is a scar on my finger and it's on my index and it's funny because all my hand injuries seem to be on one hand. Um, I do have it, I do have physio on these fingers because like my fingers know like that. So it goes swan lake, swan neck, um, but they're easy to put in. Like, I never struggled putting them in, back in, like, that's because I'm hypermobile, like, I'm double jointed, really. Um, yeah, I'm not as nervous or worried about having this surgery now. I'm just like, I just want to, want to get it over and done with. And... Um, be alright, I guess. I know it will take a long time to heal, but I think, yeah, I'm not really nervous scared at all now. I think I just really want to get it over and done with, because I hate being like this. This is actually my knuckle. This isn't my thumb. This is the knuckle of my thumb. And it stings like hell. I've got four more days. And I can't wait. I think I'm more nervous about my COVID test. But as I had a left palate when I was younger. I don't have to have it the swab in the mouth. I have to do it. They have to do it up the nose. Yeah, so. Oh, I. People say like. People always say. You're so strong, like, I've had about 13 operations on one finger and it's still there. At one point in my life, like, I think it was about four years ago, I wanted it off. Here's obviously how the last, the first doctor I saw at Stoke Mandeville really messed up my finger. And it actually, like, mentally drained me. Like, I couldn't do anything for myself. I had to rely on people. It took me a long time to, like, use the hand. Um, luckily, I saw a new doctor, Mr. Reed. He saved me from, like, wanting my finger off. He saved me from wanting it off. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this finger today. And um, I'm looking... I'm finally... No, I can trust him with my thumb because I know he knows how anxious I get. He knows my anxiety. He knows I hate needles. And do you know what, what, what he said last time? Um, No, my first operation with him was when in 2016. Um, He said to me, don't look because I don't like need. If you don't like needles, I don't like needles. And... um. I think he was doing a local anaesthetic and he said, I won't look if you don't look. And I'm like, you better look. And um, I think that was that's what's made me more relaxed. Because obviously, yeah, it is stressful. It's very, I don't really know what to say now. Because I think I've said enough. Um, I don't know. How have I dealt with, like, this is surgery number 14 on one hand. And I know people normally have <coughs> two or three surgeries in their life on one hand. Me? No. I have more than that. Like, 13 operations on one finger. And now, number 14 on my hand, on my thumb. Obviously, you can see a scar there. I don't know if you can. But somewhere there is a scar. And that was from my first... My... From 2016. And that was when my finger went like that. Like, was literally stuck down in my palm. So... 
what do I say? Um, obviously, and also, 10 days, no, about 14 days time, I'm having a biopsy on my tongue, which I think that's what's affecting me mentally, like my anxiety, because they're like 10 days apart and it's like, Jesus, what am I doing? Like, I didn't expect them to come around that same time. And I was thinking, is it? Yeah, but yes. I'll live. That's under local anaesthetic. I'm still not sure if I'm having local anaesthetic on Friday or general. I don't mind which one. Tomorrow, stuck to my bedroom. No one's allowed in it, just me. Just me. So I will stay in this room 24 hours a day. Except I will wear a mask to wash. I've got my own towels, obviously. Um, to get my dinner. And I'm not allowed in the front room. I've all washed my hands. I've all washed every. I've all um, clean everything after I use it because obviously I will protect myself um I think that's it really so this could be goodbye for the day but I will not be recording on Friday I'll probably leave it a few weeks I might record on the day I see my friends I might watch watching this video um I'll probably do a video after my surgery not like straight after maybe a few weeks goodbye so long wish me luck Bye. Bye.